and thank you for joining me at the Financial Spotlight. I'm Chantrell and I'm here to give you financial tips and tricks that are going to help you on your road to know your money. And today I am bringing you another 10 fundraising ideas, but this time it's for sports organizations and for youth organizations. Now, mind you, some of them are going to be the same ones that I talked about in the ones for the church and for the nonprofit faith-based organizations. However, a lot of them are going to be different. So let's go ahead and get into them. The first one is one I already talked about, and that's the Flapjack Fundraiser. That is going to be ran by Applebee's. You would need to go to their website, find your local Applebee's, contact them, fill out all the documentation, and make sure that you know how much you're gonna have to pay them per ticket. And also you need to have your volunteers your volunteers are going to be either serving or being a hostess. Other than that, Applebee's will supply everything else for you, the flapjacks, they'll survive, supply the location, and they'll even give you flyers and ideas for marketing your fundraiser. So that's a great way to raise funds for your team. Second, I love this one, it's the Jamba Juice fundraiser. Now, if you have a Jamba Juice in your local area, you need to actually go or call the manager at that local Jamba Juice and, con and con talk to them about fundraising for your sports team. What we did for the sports team that I did the fundraiser for, we contacted Jamba Juice, they came out to our actual location where we were having our game. They set up their table and everything, and we had a table for them, but they set up everything for the Jamba Juice, and they were selling Jamba Juice to the people that attended the game. After the game was over, they gave us a portion of the proceeds, and they kept the other part. And this was a great way to team up with a company that is well known, but that will give back to your team or your youth uh, organization. The third thing, you can go and do team pictures. Now, sometimes there are local team or local photographers or companies that take pictures that will give you a percentage of the money that you spend or that the people spend on the pictures. So for example, you would contact the photographer. The photographer will come out on a specific day, take pictures of all of the sports players and also the sports teams. And then once they take all the pictures and they get the money and everything, then they will give you a percentage percentage of what they have taken in for the sales of those um, those those pictures now I can't give you the specific percentage because I do not know what your the local photographers do but definitely look into that and find out which photographers do that and I'll try to put links to some photographers that may be like nationwide in the, the description box. But again, that's something that you're going to have to do. You got to do a little work, guys. I can't do everything for you. Okay, the fourth thing is a local dine and donate. Local dine and donates are great. Again, you're not doing any work. All you're doing is asking your people, your parents, the people that support the children on your teams and in your youth-based organizations to come out and dine at a restaurant and buy food at the restaurant. And then that restaurant will give money back to your sports team. So for example, I know that Panda Express do, does this, Roundtable does this, also Subway. So what you would do, you would contact either one of those, tell them that you want to do like a dine and donate situation. They will then give you all of the information that you need and then they'll give you the date and then you will have your people go to that restaurant on that day at that time and then they will give your organization a portion of the proceeds. I know one that definitely does it is Buffalo Wild Wings and they do a great job of it because they make you guys feel very welcome when you come in. You let them know that you're donate, you're dining for the team and then they come in and they do all oh, welcome and they do a whole thing. This is what the Buffalo Wild Wings here locally does. So that might be one that you wanted to seek out first because it's like a restaurant and you're sitting there. It's not like a fast food um, experience. Number five, you can send out mass emails and mass text messages to the parents, supporters, 
or whatever of your team or youth organization requesting donations. You should set up some type of link ahead of time, a GoFundMe link, uh, some type of donation link ahead of time so that they can click on that link and donate willingly. But that is a great way for people to donate to your organization. Number six is something that takes a lot of work and time, but it will be so worth it if you will go to the local businesses and contact them and ask them to sponsor your team. Now, it depends on what your uh, the business wants to do to sponsor the team. They might want to give money and then have their logo on your uniform. They might want to give money and just have like a sign at your games that say that they sponsor the team. They might want to have a banner on your website. There's different ways that your organization, the business rather, might want you to, like I said, put your their logo on your team's uniform. They might want their name on your website. They might want their um, banner at your tournaments that you have. So you would have to contact them and ask them what they want in exchange for their money. And it's a great time to ask for that because some people's fiscal years are ending and they have to put a donation or they have to have donations and charitable contributions on their taxes. So this is a great time to contact them and find out, hey, what are you willing to or are you willing to donate to our team? Now, number seven is going to take a lot of work from your organization and you. So what you would need to do is call, what you would need to actually do a lot of legwork. You need to contact the local, um, say you have a basketball team. So you need to contact local gyms. If you have a soccer team, local fields. Um, if you have a football team, local fields, et cetera, et cetera. Contact them and find out if you can actually use their location and see how much they charge or if they're willing to let you use it for free so that you can give a tournament. Tournaments make big time money, especially sports tournaments, because what you would do is invite other teams that you know are in that same area and you get, or even they could be in another area, and then you ask them to uh, pay a certain amount. So say it's, $20 per child entering the tournament. I'm not giving an example. And then once they enter the tournament, then you would take that money and you of course have to pay referees. You have to um, pay for people to run the uh, sport, the, the scoreboard, etc., etc. But also you can charge at the door. So when they're coming in, you're charging $10, $15, $20, depends on what, where you're located, how much the price is. But I've heard of tournaments costing all the way up to $45 a person. That's kind of extreme to me, but I've heard of it. And once you get these people to come to your tournament, once they're there, of course, you're going to have you a snack bar. Um, you're going to sell, you can sell uh, your organization's t-shirts or little paraphernalia that you guys have for the organization, etc., etc. So these are ways that you can make money and make sure that you're putting it back into your team. So number eight is selling cookies popcorn or even Krispy Kreme. So I know that Krispy Kreme donuts allows you to take some of their or get some of their donuts and then resell them for a fee. And that amount is, I think, based up on what you want to sell them for, but it's almost like a candy sale or a popcorn sale, but you're selling Krispy Kreme donuts, something that's well known. Number nine, solicit professional teams to provide items for you. So what I mean by that, we live in California, Northern California to be exact, and I have sent out letters to teams such as the Warriors, the Kings, uh, the Raiders, the 49ers, Giants, 
uh, A's, all of the teams that are local in our area and have requested them to send items so that we can either have a raffle to raffle them off or have a silent auction. And when they send those items, they have sent me tickets, they have sent t-shirts, they have even sent, uh, the giant sent a signed baseball before. And once we get all these items in, we take inventory of them, and then you do a silent auction. You can do the silent auction online, you can do it by text, you can do it any type of way, social media, etc. And then the person that wins the items, of course, you get them to them however you can by post service by uh, dropping it off whatever the case may be but this is a great way to raise money for your organization and you have not spent any money you just requested items from well-known sports teams and number 10 is the shoe donation fundraiser and I talked about that in my last fundraiser video but I'm talking about it again because I think it is awesome so you would do you would do a shoe donation um, drive and you get people to donate their shoes. You would contact fundsfororgs.com. I'll put the link in the description box below. And then once you contact them, they come out, they give you the bags, they do all the things that you need to do to take the donations for your shoes. And then you guys get a percentage of that for your organization. So there you have 10 different ways to fundraise for your sports or youth organization. Please tell me in the comments which one you're going to try. I think that the Jamba Juice one is the best because I love Jamba Juice. I like them to bring those things out to the game and sell them themselves. I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is set up a space for them to be. Which one do you think is the best? Which one would you try for your organization? Let me know in the comment section. I hope this information has helped you. Make sure that you share it with your friends and family that also have youth organizations, sports teams, etc. that they have to raise funds for. Thank you for joining me and have a great one. Bye.